Welcome to the Cassis tutorial series. This tutorial will show you how to start Cassis on a Mac or Linux machine and display a spectrum. In a terminal window, go to your Cassis application folder, in my case, slash applications slash Cassis. To start Cassis with a default memory of 1024 megabytes, just type dot slash Cassis dot run. If you want to change this default, just enter the memory size you want after the cassis.run command, for example, for 2GB memory, type 2048. The main cassis window has been opened. In the title, you can see the version number and the database that is being used. Databases will be described in another tutorial. You can also check out the help pages for more information on this topic. You have here a number of menus that will also be described in other tutorials. Below, you have some icons for quick access to common actions. For example, this icon here will open a spectrum analysis window, which will allow you to display a spectrum. To do so, click on the load button. This opens a file browser. Note that in this panel on the right hand side, you can add your favorite folders for quick access. CASIS can open many types of files. For example, if you are from the millimeter or submillimeter community, it can open files coming out of the class data reduction software. More generally, it can open FITS files and VO tables. Let's take a FITS file. When I click Open, CASIS automatically finds the minimum and maximum frequencies contained in this spectrum. Finally, click Display to get the spectrum. Note that you also have some information in the terminal, such as the number of points contained in the spectrum. To finish this tutorial, let's look at a few functionalities for spectrum manipulation. You can zoom in by click and drag from the upper left to lower right, as such, and zoom out by do doing the opposite, click and drag from lower right to upper left. You can navigate the X and Y axis separately with the tools in the associated tabs here at the bottom. For example, to zoom in the X axis only, click on the plus button of the X tools tab and to zoom out on the minus button. And to go to higher frequencies or lower frequencies, use the right and left arrows. You can center the window on a desired frequency. Let's take, for example, 800 GHz. When I click Go, Cassius has centered the window on, on the desired frequency. And you can also set the width of the window, for example, 200 gigahertz. We're done for this first tutorial. Thank you for following it. Do not hesitate to visit our website and give us your feedback by emailing us.